Now, as you all are very well aware, there's been a lot of chaos happening over at Disney and Lucasfilm as the box office collapse continues for Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny, with Mission Impossible 7 now looming just a couple of days away to take over the box office of The Dial of Destiny. They are facing a great threat by Tom Cruise, Paramount, as well as Skydance that is going to continue to make successful film releases out there to combat against Disney. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into exactly what's going on here with Kathleen Kennedy. Now, there's been a lot of developments happening with her blacklisting in Hollywood, and the situation is only getting worse and worse as the weeks roll by. Now, we know that a lot of this has to do with the fallout over at Lucasfilm, specifically from Indiana Jones 5, and of course, what's been going on with The Mandalorian Season 3, and how that show created a ripple effect of losing a lot of fans. Now, one thing about Kathy Kennedy right now, and the whole blacklisting situation between herself and the major Hollywood studios, is actually bouncing back over at Disney, the board, Bob Iger, and more, so let's discuss exactly what's going on here and why this is really putting a lot of pressure on Disney to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy further within Disney itself and more. So with Kathleen Kennedy actively trying to stabilize the Indy 5 box office situation as much as possible, one big development that has been brewing behind the scenes involving the blacklisting of Kathleen Kennedy in Hollywood just got even more involved. One major thing about her blacklisting due to the failure of Indy 5's box office is that now more than 90% of the major Hollywood studios have restricted Kathleen Kennedy from ever working with her in the future, and that that is resulting in more pressure between different board members over at Disney. The blacklisting of Kathleen Kennedy has gotten so severe to the point that during Iger's emergency meeting that took place just days ago, it resulted in an uproar of different board members arguing against others that Kennedy is giving Disney a bad image for the company and is only going to create more damage to Star Wars and Lucasfilm as a whole. This is said to have also resulted in more pressure being put on by Bob Iger, since his job is on the line as CEO as well. With the latest studios such as Paramount and even Universal blacklisting Kathleen Kennedy that was finalized just recently, more are following as we roll across all of this. Now, one thing about this I must say is that you guys may or may not know this, but Kathleen Kennedy and Frank Marshall, all right, they are husband and wife. I don't know if you guys knew that, but they are basically a duo in the Hollywood bubble. And Frank Marshall has a lot of contacts. He has a lot of polls out there in Hollywood, and he is desperately trying to save Kathleen Kennedy's career as more and more studios are following others of blacklisting her from ever working with her in the future or even giving her a shot at any point in time once she leaves Disney and Lucasfilm. Now we know one major thing about this entire scenario is that a lot of this does indeed rest not only because of Dial of Destiny, but also because how she has destroyed or tarnished literally three whole franchises, Star Wars, Willow, and now Indiana Jones. And that is something that can be marked down in history as the greatest failure in Hollywood. There's no doubt about this. Kathleen Kennedy is right up there, because when you wreck that many franchises consistently in a row without trying to make any kind of an improvement, that just goes to show you that you are incompetent, you're irresponsible, and you lack the creative skills and the leadership skills to remain as president of a company like that as Lucasfilm. Now here's the kicker is this, is that on top of that, all right, Frank Marshall is really trying to make a couple of deals out there with major Hollywood studios like Universal and Paramount and others out there and to really kind of keep Kathleen Kennedy and her options open once she either A, gets fired or steps down from Lucasfilm by, of course, Disney specifically. Now, moving on to the next big thing here, this gets even more complex, is that more and more studios just followed shortly after that and have, of course, essentially given Kennedy no future outside of Disney and Lucasfilm. 
Now this blacklisting of hers is now resulting in Kennedy in expediating her development of her own major Hollywood studio that will be funded through herself and Frank Marshall to become a competitor against sci-fi brands like Star Wars, Trek, and yes, even Dune. Members of the board view this as a bigger reason to fire her, while other board members have been defending Kathy behind the scenes. It's chaos at Disney right now based on her blacklisting, and how it makes Disney look from other studios as well as the underperformance of many Disney projects that are tumbling one after the other. Frank Marshall is now trying to convince the studios to actually remove the restrictions of Kathleen Kennedy in a desperate attempt to save her career as she has no intentions of ever actually retiring in Hollywood. Now, here's the other problem that arises out of this, is that number one, you would think that that would be the best reason to fire Kathleen Kennedy if she is known to be developing her own Hollywood studio. We've talked about this, it currently goes under the code name of Starlight Productions, that's what she's calling it so far, and it's gonna have a lot of ex-Lucasfilm employees, as well as the bigger plan, Leslie Headland as the vice president. That's her overall game plan right now for this studio that she wants to get out there by 2025. Now, if I were Disney, that is a legitimate legal reason to get rid of her. So what is keeping her over at Disney? I have no idea. There's something going on. Something very suspicious is going on. There's no doubt about it. Now, when you look at Frank Marshall, very powerful man in Hollywood, lots of contacts. I would not be surprised if he is pulling some strings, but we do know that the board is putting a lot of pressure on other board members right now to make that ultimate call that yeah, it's time to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy, let's make the right arrangements to segue into that and replace her with somebody else as soon as possible. That is now becoming a very big pressure on all the board members and even on Bob Iger himself because now about this blacklisting situation that we've been talking about here, is that it's making Disney look bad internally against the other Hollywood studios out there. It's making them look very weak, as if they don't care about their own failures, as if they don't care about any kind of backlash or a box office fallout, stuff like that. And it's only gonna get worse for Disney if they keep on following this trend because you're gonna see the same exact results with the Marvels. You may see the same exact result with the Haunted Mansion and maybe even wish, you know, if they wanna go that far of not trying to succeed. So Kathleen Kennedy, her time is well overdue. I mean, she should have been fired back in 2018. Let's be honest here. Ever since the release of The Last Jedi, things have been going downhill for Star Wars with the exception of, of course, Rogue One. Ever since Star Wars came out under Disney, it really has been an up and down roller coaster that has recently become nothing more than a downward trend. All right, so it's really not looking good for them. They have to make sure that they really begin to change their ways. And Disney doesn't look like they're gonna do that anytime soon. You know, Bob Iger really seems like he just doesn't care at this point. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.